The Beginner's Guide to Ethereum Mining How to Make an Online Wallet and Start Pool Mining on Ethermine.org First thing we're going to do is make a wallet, so we're going to go to MyEtherWallet.com Once the page opens, you can see it opens to the Generate Wallet page and it asks you to enter a strong password of at least nine characters. I'm going to create a text file and I'm going to record all of my wallet information into this text file. I'll type out my password. It's going to be new test wallet 123. Then I'll copy that and paste it into the generate wallet generator. Then I'll click on generate wallet and it'll make me my wallet. I'm all done. My wallet's made. I'm going to want to store my key. I'm going to copy my key and paste it into my text file. I'm then going to copy my address and paste that into my text file. Then you're going to want to download your key, your keystone file, and your JSON file. Once you have those downloaded, we can go to ethermine.org. If we scroll down the page a little bit, we'll see how to connect. We're going to be using the second miner, Claymore Miner. So first we need to download Claymore Miner. We'll click on the Bitcoin Talk link. On the Bitcoin Talk forum page, we're going to click on one of the download links, Google or Mega. I'll click on Mega. Once the download page opens, we're going to want to download one of the most recent zip files for Windows. So I'm going to download the one that was released on the 3rd. Mega will prepare it for download. Once it's ready to download, I'll click on OK to save the file. And then I'm going to open the containing folder and extract it. Extract all. For simplicity, I'm going to move the folder onto my desktop. And in this folder is the mining program. So we can go back to ethermine.org and in the instructions to configure we're going to see that to start your miner we need to create a bat file, bat file, a batch file. To do that we're going to create a text document. You can name it whatever you want. We're going to open that up and we're going to copy the text for the batch file into the batch file. Now we need to customize this so it's what we want in the batch file. We can change the mining pool to any of the mining pools that Ethermine uses. We can choose from any of these pools. North America, I might want to choose from the North American ones, Europe, the European ones, etc. I can choose US1, US2. I can choose port 444 or port 14444. So I'm going to choose US1, 14444. And the next thing is I'm going to want to put in my Ethereum address, which is my wallet address. I'm going to copy my wallet address. And then I'm going to paste that into the file. Next, I can give my rig, my mining rig, a name. You can give it any name you want. Characters and numbers. I'm going to name it rig1. Then you're going to want to save the file. And you're going to want to make sure you add a .bat batch bat file name 
and change text documents to all files so that it saves as a batch file. Once you got that done, save it. Here we can see it saved, Ethermine, Windows batch file. So I can go ahead and delete my text file. Now it's set up and ready to mine. We can double click on it. And it will start the miner, it will start mining. If we want to look at our progress, if we want to look at how our miners are doing on Ethermine, we can paste our address into the status bar on the top and click on check status. A page will open up which will show our miners. Because we've just started, it has not updated yet. It should take a couple minutes to update. If we click on the payout rounds, we can see that this is where our payouts are going to go. Once we've earned a coin, an Ethercoin, it'll show a payout here and it'll show that it's been sent to our wallet. In settings, we can set an email so that if our miner goes offline or one of our miners goes offline, we receive an email. We can go rush and put the miner back online. And you can also change your payment threshold from anything from 0.1 to 10. Now, if it's under one, you have to pay an extra fee, so it's probably better to keep it above one, something in between one and ten. Now our miner has actually started mining. We can see it's already found shares. And after a few minutes more, five or ten minutes more, you'll see that your worker shows up on the Ethermine status page. It'll show you your hash rate, your reported hash rate. The second one is your effective current hash rate over the last two hours. If you scroll down, you can see your workers that are active. So you see worker rig one, which is what I named it, the reported hash rate and the current hash rate, which will update over the next two hours. If we scroll back to the top, we can see where it shows your shares. It'll take some time to update. Now we can keep clicking update the page and you'll see your unpaid balance actually go up in almost real time. So if you want to check your payouts, once you get a payout, you can go to your wallet and you can go view wallet info. What you want to do is copy your key and then select private key on the wallet page and paste your key into the box and unlock your wallet. Here it will tell you your account balance, all of the Ether coins that have been sent to your wallet. You can also check your transaction history by going to Etherscan. There's nothing there yet because we haven't mined any coins yet. If you want to send Ether, you click on Send Ether. Again, put in your private key, unlock your wallet, and you can put an address to send your Ether to, the amount to send. You can click on Entire Balance to send it all if you want to send it to an exchange, etc. You just want to do a regular ETH standard transaction for sending ETH. Then you click on Generate Transaction and one more tab and you're done. So we can go back to our miner and we can see that it's still mining away. So that's how you get started. That's how you can make a simple wallet. It's safe. It's effective. It'll get you started really quick. And that's how you set up your Claymore Miner to work on ethermine.org. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it helpful. And thanks for watching.